myself dr p reddy prasad associate professor department of chemistry institute of aeronautical engineering today i am going to engineering chemistry syllabus i am going to talk engineering chemistry syllabus chemistry and corrosion module 1 in that the topic is nernst equation and reference electrode these are the important components which is we are going to discuss today so first one nernst equation and applications of nernst equation and the numerical problems on nernst equation and the reference electrode nernst equation first of all the electrochemistry we know that what is the definition of electrochemistry electrochemistry deals with the cell cell potential as well as energy chemical reactions electrochemistry it is a branch of chemistry the chemistry the electrochemistry it's going to study the cell potentials as well as energy of chemical reactions the energy of chemical reactions chemical system drives the charges to move and driving force it gives rise to the cell potential so that cell potential of the system is called as a galvanic cell nens studied the theoretical relationship between the electrode reaction and the corresponding cell emf emf means electromotive force this relationship is generally known as nernst equation nernst equation it's going to study the the theoretical relationship in between the electro reaction and the corresponding the cell potential of the electrochemical cell so that relation could explain this nernst equation properly so when he was studied especially in 1864 and 1941 so walter h nernst he was received the nobel prize in 1920 in recognition of this his work in thermochemistry in thermochemistry work he got the nobel prize in 1920 so nernst equation in especially in electrochemistry it's going to study the theoretical relationship in between the electro reaction and the corresponding cell electromotive force so that relation could explain properly this nernst equation that's why we are called as a nernst equation in nernst equation derivation if you look at this nernst equation derivation nernst equation is the one which to relates the cell potential to relate the cell potential and the concentration of the species concentration of the species is involved in the electrochemical reaction we are going to consider we are going to explain the what type of cell potential is generated emf the potential is generated in the electrochemical reaction we are going to use this nernst equation to derive that i mean uh, to cell potential of that electrochemical system so let us consider an electrochemical reaction if you take any electrochemical general reaction electrochemical reaction in the electro electrolytic cell or electrochemical cell so the redox reaction so redox reaction so where the oxidation reduction reaction is takes place then we are called as a redox reaction there is a a and b reactant it's converted to c plus d uh, the product are c and d the product so there is a a reactants the small x a reactants and the small y b reactant is going to convert small m and small n Uh, moles of product of c and d so now the reaction quotient the equilibrium constant of the reaction the general equation the quotient the quotient q is c to the power of m and d to the power of that is the products by reactant the product which is the product 
the product is C. There is a how many mole is there? Small m mole. And the product is D. How many mole is there? Small n mole. And that be divided by reactants. The reactants, there is, there is a A reactant and B reactant. So the number of moles of A, it is a small a, uh, small x or small a. The number of B reactant, that is a small y. So A reactant and B reactant. So, so A reactant and B reactant, the moles is x and y. Now we are going to write the, the reaction question. The question reaction represented by Q. The Q or the equilibrium constant, we are also called as a K, equilibrium constant K. The Q equal to the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactant. The Q equal to the quotient, Q equal to the concentration of product divided by the concentration of reactant. So the concentration of product, that is the concentration of C and concentration of D from the equation, from the redox reaction in electrochemical general equation. So there is a C, D is the product. The moles were represented to power, we are, we are uh, written there, M and N, that is the moles, small M mole of C, small N mole of D. Usually the reactant is uh, small E, I mean capital E and capital B. So small X mole of capital A and a small B mole of, I mean small Y mole of capital B reactant to involve the uh, electrochemical Renax reaction. Then from that quotient, we write the quotient, the product by reactant. Now we know that, so which work is done in the reaction? How much work is done? So that work done, we are represented, we are uh, giving the equation, the Gibbs free energy. The Gibbs free energy, the change, changes, of, changes of energy, delta G equal to delta G naught plus RT ln Q. So delta G naught plus RT ln Q. This is the uh, general equation gives free energy, uh, change energy of reaction. So how much the oxidation reduction reaction is takes place in the reaction. So how much potential is transferred from one electrode to another electrode. That work is going to calculate from this equation. So this equation is a vant of isotherm uh, relation equation from Gibbs free energy equation. So that is the delta G equal to delta G naught plus RT log ln Q quotient. We know that delta G equal to the, the which is the work is uh, takes place. The delta G equal to the Q is going to here. So delta G equal to minus N F E cell. So how much work is work done uh, is takes place in the reaction. It is equal to the small n is the num number of mole, number of electrons in involved in the reaction and F is the Faraday value and E cell, the cell potential, how much potential is transferred from one electrode to another electrode that is uh, delta G. Delta G is the Gibbs free energy change, change of the Gibbs free energy. So minus N F E cell. Similarly, at standard condition, the standard Gibbs free energy we written like this. Delta G naught equal to minus N F E naught cell, E naught cell. At a standard uh, uh, condition, standard state at 25 degree centigrade and one atmosphere pressure and one molar, one unit concentration of uh, reactant. So then we are write the equation delta, that is the standard condition. The standard gives free energy change in the reaction in electrochemical cell. That is a delta G equal to minus N F E naught cell. So from the equation 1 and 2 we are getting. So delta Z we are written minus N F E. So this is the equation number uh, 2. This is the equation number uh, 3 from 3 from, from equation number 2 and 3. So instead of delta G we are, we are going to written so minus N F E equal to minus N F E naught minus N E F E naught plus R T and log Q quotient. This is the equation we are getting from the equation number 1, 2, 3. So that is N F E equal to minus N F E naught plus R T log Q. 
substituted the equation value q value in the equation so when the substituted the q value uh, we know that the q value that is a quotient value uh, the uh, product by concentration of product by concentration of reactant so same minus n f e cell equal to uh, minus n f e not cell plus r t log the concentration of product and the concentration of reactant the concentration of product the concentration of reactant so so we re, uh, instead the value of q we instead the uh, we written this uh, equation number 3 then so when divide the whole equation the equation number 3 so by my, by divided by minus nf value so when the uh, divide the whole equation by by minus nf value then if you see here if you uh, divide the uh, uh, this equation Uh, minus n n f value minus n f value uh, then minus n f value then minus n f value then minus uh, n f value then minus n f minus n f will cancel so this equation we are going to return like this so that is e cell equal to e not cell minus r t by n f and log the concentration of products and the concentration of reactant so this equation in the regular logarithm value based uh, when we converted regular regular logarithm value log, log 10 value then we can write written that like equation e cell equal to e not cell minus uh, 2.303 rt by nf so log the concentration of uh, uh, product by the concentration of reactant so this is the 2.303 rt by nf regular logarithm value log 10 value when converted the table equation log 10 value uh, regular log 10 value then we can write this equation we can written this equation like this e cell equal to e not cell minus 2.303 rt by nf log the concentration of products by the concentration of reactant when we substituted the equation in the equation Uh, the uh, the component of r value and t value and uh, n value and f value we know that uh, in the this is the nernst equation so this is the nernst equation e cell equal to at standard cell potential minus e not cell minus uh, 2.303 rt by nf log the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactant in that e cell is the uh, cell potential Uh, electrochemical cell potential uh, e not cell it means at standard condition uh, uh, when we are getting the cell potential that is standard electrode potential uh, standard cell potential e not value and uh, r value we know that universal gas constant value r value universal gas constant value that value is equal to 8.314 uh, joules uh, per kilo calories per mole uh, kilo calories per mole that is uh, r value and t value t is the temperature so that is the temperature uh, it kelvin 298 uh, kelvins uh, divided by n value n value how many electrons involved in the reaction and f value f is the faraday constant uh, faraday constant we know that faraday value that is a 96500 uh, coulombs 96500 coulombs so when substituted this value uh 25 degree centigrade and uh, the equation we can write like this uh, e cell equal to uh, e not cell minus so after substituted of that uh, values then uh, e 0.0591 by uh, n so log the concentration of product and the concentration of reactant so this is the uh, nernst equation nernst equation is going to tell the relation in between the uh, electrode potentials and standard electrode potential and the electrode potentials and single electrode potentials and the concentration of the solution uh, we are going to govern we, we are going to derive that we are going to uh, determine the uh, concentration also there is a possible to determine the concentration there is a possible to to calculate the cell potential uh, overall cell potential or single electrode cell potential using this nernst equation as uh, so a nernst equation is a nothing but so nernst equation e cell equal to e not cell minus 2.303 rt by nf 
log the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactant. The concentration of product divided by the concentration of reactant. The next equation used to calculate the cell potential of an electrochemical cell at any given temperature, pressure and reactant concentration at any condition, any type of and which is a, there is a different concentration we can go to measure. There is a possibility at different temperature we are going to calculate the cell potential. So it is useful for the calculate the EMF of the cell or cell potential of the electrochemical cell or single electrode potential also we are going to calculate using this Nernst equation. Nernst equation there is a possible to calculate any type of uh, cell reactions, any type of cell uh, reactions, what type of reaction is going on, how much potential is generated, how much concentration is there. So there is a possibility to, to calculate the uh, cell potentials in uh, using of this Nernst equation. So this is the application NENS equation applications. There are uh, some of the applications I am giving here. Uh, single electrode reduction oxidation potentials at any conditions, any temperature, any concentration, we are going to calculate the uh, single electrode potentials. In electrochemical system, there is a two electrodes is there. Uh, there is one is a uh, anode uh, and another one is a cathode. There is a two oxygen is there. So where the oxidation is it takes place. The, uh, that is the that electrode is uh, uh, of cell at, uh, I mean <coughs> anode anodic cell another one is the cathodic cell where the reduction is takes place that cell we are represented by uh, cathodic cell so oxidation reduction potentials uh, we are going to calculate we are going to uh, determine using of this Nernst equation at standard electrode potentials also there is a possible to measure there is a possibility to measure the standard electrode potentials using this Nernst equation. Comparing the relative ability as a reductive or oxidative agent, which is uh, for comparison, uh, zinc, I mean zinc copper, which is going to oxidize, which is going to reduce, we can easily identify the using of these electrode potentials. So that is another advantage in Nernst equation. There is a possibility to, uh, when we are getting the potentials, then we can identify the which is the easily reduce the another element, uh, which is easily oxidize the um, uh, another element. We can identify. So that is the compare relative ability. The comparing ability we can identify using this electrochemical uh, Nernst equation and. <clears throat> Finding the feasibility of combining such single electrodes to produce electrical potential. Finding the feasibility of combining such single electrodes to produce electrical pot potentials. Uh, we are going to measure the electrical potentials using the uh, combining these single electrodes, different electrodes. When we are connecting with standard electrode, we are getting the uh, another electrode potentials so using of this Nernst equation. And EMF of the, we know that EMF the cell, EMF and electrochemical cell, electromotive force, the cell potentials, we are going to calculate using of this uh, Nernst equation. And another advantage is the, the it is a um, quantitative technique to identify the concentration, unknown solution concentration also there is a possibility to determine unknown solution concentration. Uh, from the equation, we know that E equal to uh, E naught minus 2.303 RT by NF and log the uh, the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactant. So when we know that uh, cell potential and uh, uh, standard electrode potential, then when we uh, substituted the value of R value, T value and N value, F value, we can get the concentration of uh, reactants. So that is the advantage, the unknown concentration, unknown ionic solution, electrolyte solution concentration, we are going to determine using of this uh, uh, Nernst equation. And uh, we can, there is a possible to measure the pH of the solution and uh, solubility of a uh, sparingly soluble salt, uh, KCl, NaCl, uh, some of the sparingly soluble salt, uh, solubility also we can measure with the help of, uh, with the help of Nernst equation. Uh, there is an um, application says there this month. And now we are going to discuss some of the uh, numerical problems on this Nernst equation. Uh, this is the uh, problems on Nernst equation, one of the problem, important problem of Nernst equation. So if you look at that question, the calculate the EMF of the voltaic cell. So that is the voltaic cell is working on 
uh, iron and copper iron and copper we know that iron is converted to fe2 plus and the copper is gain the electrons is converted to copper and the copper solid so this is the voltaic cell one of the voltaic cell so iron is going to oxidize and the copper is going to redu redu reduce and uh, the potential they are also given the copper potential is 0.34 because the copper is uh, uh, reductive potential that is plus 0.34 and uh, Iron potential is the minus 0.44. Iron potential is minus 0.44. We know that cell potential equation that is E cell potential equal to uh, E cathode minus E anode. E cell potential equal to E cathode minus E anode. The cathodic potential is 0.34 volts minus the anode potential is minus 0.44 volts. Then we are getting the potential of that electrochemical cell 0.78 volts. So this is the one of the important uh, numerical problem to calculate the EMF of the cell. The cell potential will uh, when we know that electrode potential, single electrode potential, in electrochemical system there is a cathode and anode is there. A uh, cathode potential, when we know that cathodic potential, uh, that cathodic potential we are going to calculate from the Nernst equation. And similarly, uh, uh, oxidation potential, that is minus 0 0.44 also we, we are using Nernst equation to find out this potential then simple uh, simplify this equation from uh, e cell potential equation that we are getting the cell potential so this is the advantage of Nernst equation and another uh, model uh, to calculate the electrode potential there is a single electrode potential calculate the electrode potential of the copper wire uh, the copper wire dipped in uh, 0.1 molar uh, copper sulfate solution at 25 degrees centigrade the standard electrode potential of copper is 0 0.34. So we know that the standard electrode potential value uh, that is 0 0.34 volts. The standard electrode potential we know that then utilize the standard electrode potential we have to calculate the, uh, the, the 0.1 molar concentration of a copper sulfate solution uh, potential. And uh, there is a simple Nernst equation when we are applying the Nernst equation to this uh, cell. Uh, we are getting easily. So the E equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 by N. 0 0.0591 by N. That means uh, when substituted the R value and uh, N, I mean uh, uh, absolute temperature and Faraday value. So the value is 0 0.0591 by N. And log uh, the concentration, I mean uh, product by reactant, we know that product it is a copper cell character, the electrode potential of copper wire. That's the reason that is a 0.1 uh, molar concentration. It's me, it's a reason copper, I mean, is a copper usually copper 2 plus to gain the electrons in electrochemical system is converted to copper solid. The product is a copper and the reactant is copper sulfate, I mean, reactant is copper uh, 2 plus. So, copper 2 plus. So product is the solid value is always 1 divided by the copper uh, plus ions the concentration is 0 0.1. So from that the log value 1 by 0 0.1 it is equal to 0 0.03. So from that the potential E cell potential is the cell potential of a specific uh, 0 0.1 molar concentration of copper when we dip it into the 0 0.1 molar concentration and that copper by that is 0 0.31 volts, 0 0.31 volts. So, Nernst equation not only applicable to electrochemical cell, it also applicable to single electrode potential for calculation of single electrode potential. So, they are given standard reduction potential and from that standard reduction potential, so when we know that concentration, so we are calculate the cell potential or single electrode potential. So, this is the another model to advantage of Nernst equation and this one this is another one uh, standard reduction potential of zinc and copper uh, that is a 0 0.76 volts and uh, plus 0 0.34 volts uh, zinc oxidation potential that is uh, uh, minus 0 0.76 volts and the copper reduction potential that is a plus 0 0.34 volts so what is the emf of the cell but uh, they given the, they change the concentration of zinc at standard condition electrochemical cell potential we know that that is a 1.10 volts uh, 1.11 or 1.10 like this 
So, but they are given the concent, they are given the specific concentration of zinc and uh, copper. They change the concentration 0 0.05 and copper sulfate, uh, copper it is 0 0.005 molar concentration. Then how we are going to calculate? First of all, at the standard reduction, based on the standard reduction potential, oxidation potential, we have to calculate the EM of the cell, standard electrode potential. From there, E cathode minus E anode. So E cathode, the potential is 0 0.34 volts. Uh, from E anode potential minus 0 0.76 volts. From that, we are getting the cell potential value that is a 1.1 volts. 1.1 volts. 1.1 volts is the uh, regular uh, standard condition uh, voltaic cell potential. 1.1 volts. Now, uh, from the Nernst equation, we have to calculate. From the Nernst equation, we have to calculate. So, what is the, if you change the concentration in the electrode potential, I mean electrode, electrolyte solution, and then what is the potential? So, the standard reduction potential, we know that E cell equal to, at standard condition, the potential is 1.1 volts. We are getting from uh, the value of uh, oxidation reduction potential of zinc and copper. That is a 1.1 volts, uh, 0 0.0591 by 2, because the uh, many electrons usually and zinc and copper, zinc 2 plus 2, um, I mean, sorry, copper 2 plus uh, zinc, zinc to lose the electrons, I mean 2 electrons and uh, it's converted to zinc 2 plus ions. So when to lose the electron, this is the oxidation potential and the copper to gain the 2 electrons, copper uh, 2 plus ions to gain the uh, 2 electrons is converted to copper solid. Uh, the reaction, in the reaction, the relax reaction, there is a two electrons is involved that's why uh, the number of electrons involved in the reaction is a two and along the concentration of zinc is 0 0.05 and the copper two plus concentration is 0 0.005 uh, because from the overall reaction uh, this is the overall reaction uh, reactant is the copper two plus ion um, product is the um, zinc two plus ion so that's why product concentration of product divided by the concentration of reactant the concentration of product is 0 0.05 molar and the concentration of reactant is 0 0.005 molar. So that's why uh, 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.005 uh, from the log value we are getting the potential of, if you change the concentration, the potential of 1.07 volts. The cell potential is 1.07 volts. The cell potential 1.07 volts. If you change the concentration also, uh, we can get the cell potential using this Nernst equation. So Nernst equation, there is a possible to, to measure the EM of the cell potential and the single, single electrode potential and to change the concentration uh, to any condition, any state of the uh, cell, we can get the potential. We can calculate the potentials uh, using of this Nernst equation. And uh, this is the another one, uh, another model. So there is a uh, reaction directly. Uh, the potential zinc is uh, 0 0.2 uh, moles. They change the concentration. Silver is a 0 0.002 moles. Uh, the standard EM of the cell is a 1.54 volts. Same, uh, so previous uh, uh, problem like that. So the 1.5 volts, this is a standard electrode potential. And in this reaction also, how many electrons involved in the reaction? Two electrons because uh, uh, zinc also is going to oxidize uh, because there is a two electrons is there at the silver two plus. Uh, there also gain the two electrons is converted to silver. So that's a two electrons is involved. And the concentration of the product is uh, 0.2, that is a zinc concentration. And the silver is the 0 0.02, 0 0.002. From that, the cell potential is 1.4809 volts. The cell potential is 1.4809 volts. So we are uh, calculate the potentials, uh, single electrode potential and electrochemical cell potential. If we change the concentration also, there is a possibility to measure the uh, electrode potentials using the Nernst equation. And 
another uh, uh, topic in this uh, uh, another uh, important topic we are going to discuss in this session and that is a reference electrode a reference electrode what is reference electrode and what are the advantages of reference electrode we are going to discuss here so the electrode potential of any other electrode the electrode potential of any other electrode that can be measured is called as a reference electrode so it means so we we are using this reference electrode for calculate of for uh, measure the other electrode potentials so reference electrode it is a very important to measure the other electrode potential we know that any electrochemical system we should be present at least two electrodes so we are utilizing one electrode to measure the another electrode in nens equation also we are uh, uh, using the standard electrode potentials we are calculate the other electrode potentials we are measure the cell potentials same for measure the cell potential or electrode potential whatever it may be uh, which is uh, which electrode we are using that electrode is the a reference electrode that electrode is called as a reference electrode so we can say that the uh, definition like this the electrode who is whose the off cell potential is known so in electrochemical system so uh, which electrode off cell potential is uh, we know uh, that uh, known uh, electrode potential electrode uh, known potential electrode is called as a reference electrode Uh, because which electrode to give the standard at constant potential i mean a constant at uh, uh, completely insensitive to the composition i mean unknown solution uh, it is called as a reference electrode uh, which electrode uh, of cell potential is known and uh, uh, is constant and completely insensitive to the composition of the solution is called as a a reference electrode there is another definition the reference electrode can act as a both anode or cathode so based on the in the electrochemical system reference electrode is act as either anode or either cathode depending on the nature of the other electrodes so uh, in any electrochemical system we know that there is a two electrodes if one electrode is act as anode then reference electrode is act as a cathode then another electrode is act as a cathode then reference electrode is act as a anode so because the reference electrode to complete the electrochemical system uh, reference electrode to complete the electrochemical system um, based on the nature of the other electrode the reference electrode it can act as a both anode as, a, as either as a cathode so that's the advantage of reference electrode usually there are uh, some of the types of reference electrode if you look at the types of reference electrode we are considered the based on the working uh, reference electrodes are two types so primary reference electrode and secondary reference electrode so normally usually reference electrode uh, standard hydrogen electrode it is a primary reference electrode because standard hydrogen electrode at standard condition the potential is zero um, we are taking the uh, hydrogen reference electrode we are going to uh, calculate the all Uh, electrode i mean element uh, reduction potentials so that's why it is a primary reference electrode and it cannot if it is at standard condition it could is always zero volts always zero volts um, uh, from that reference value calculate the uh, re reduction values of all atoms so then another one another electrode that is a, a secondary reference electrode so which electrode Uh, the potential is determined by connecting to the standard electrode standard hydrogen electrode uh, that is called as a secondary reference electrode secondary reference electrode means so we are taking one electrode uh, using a hydrogen electrode using hydrogen electrode we are going to calculate the potential of other electrode so that electrode is also we can act it's act as a reference electrode that is the secondary reference electrode uh, secondary reference electrode is the best example uh, based on the engineering syllabus so calamel electrode calamel electrode is the best example of uh, secondary reference electrode now we are going to discuss uh, what is the uh, calamel electrode calamel electrode this is the one of the reference electrode so there is a silver silver chloride electrode is also there reference electrode but uh, saturated calamel electrode the number of electrochemical system is having uh, this uh, saturated uh, calamel electrode Uh, this uh, saturated calamel electrode look at that figure there is a glass uh, or a transparent glass uh, uh, tube it is a consist of uh, a tube that uh, tube is filled with uh, 
saturated KCL solution and uh, on top of the uh, uh, cell, I mean uh, uh, glass tube, it is is there, uh, platinum wire, this is the platinum wire and another one, there is a zinc, mercury, mercury and mercury chloride and saturated KCL solution paste is there and mercury, mercury chloride paste is present. So, the this mercury, mercury chloride uh, paste is connected with the platinum wire. Um, platinum wire. There is a um, left side, uh, um, there is a vessel is there. That vessel is uh, useful to fill the uh, KCL solution. This part uh, is useful to fill the KCL solution. Uh, in the uh, reference electrode, there is the important, this is a Pyrex glass uh, tube. Uh, this Pyrex glass tube or transparent glass tube uh, filled with KCL solution, uh, saturated KCL solution and uh, on top of the cell there is a mercury and mercury chloride and saturated KCL uh, uh, paste is present. This paste is connected with the uh, uh, platinum wire. So, this platinum wire uh, to give the, uh, when connected with the mercury mercury chloride uh, to give the oxidation reduction potential uh, signals to the cell. So, that is the advantage and uh, this is a commercial electro uh, reference electrode. If you look at that commercial ele uh, reference electrode, there is a uh, solution filling port is there uh, for uh, from, the, from that port, uh, we are going to fill the saturated KCL solution in that and at the bottom there is a mercury and a mercury chloride uh, uh, paste is present and there is a platinum wire they connected with this mercury uh, mercury chloride paste. Uh, the usually uh, the potentials is developed in this electrode uh, when we are going to immerse the this electrode into the solution. When we are immerse the uh, this reference electrode <coughs> in the known solution, then potential is generated and developed. Uh, this electrode and another electrode that potential uh, is it depends on the on the concentration of KCL solution. The potential is it depends on the concentration of KCL solution. Usually, uh, saturated KCL solution we are using. If we change the concentration of KCL, uh, then uh, the potential is going to change. The calomel electrode cell potential uh, we are written like this. KCL, the cell represented like this. KCL and mercury, mercury chloride, mercury chloride, solid and mercury platinum. This is the uh, cell representation of uh, saturated calomel electrode, saturated calomel electrode. So, KCL, mercury chloride and mercury platinum. And the electrode potentials of uh, calomel electrode, uh, different concentration at 25 degrees centigrade. If you change the concentration, 0.1 molar concentration. If you concentration KCL is a 0.1 molar concentration, the potential is 0 0.33 volts. Uh, 0.33 volts. Usually, one molar concentration, the potential is going to decrease, that is 0 0.28 volts. So, that is why uh, KCL concentration, uh, it is depends, uh, it is give the uh, uh, potentials of a reference electrode. If a saturated KCL solution is a present, if you fill with saturated KCL solution, then uh, mercury chloride and the mercury uh, electrode that calomel electrode to generate the potential is 0 0.24 volts, 0 0.24 volts. Uh, change the concentration automatically, the reference electrode standard redu reduction, I mean potential is going to change. So, 0 0.1 molar concentration that is 0 0.33 volts and 1 molar concentration the potential is 0 0.28 volts and saturated KCL the standard re uh, reference electrode potential is 0 0.24 volts. So, calomel electrode, we know that calomel electrode is act as anode and cathode uh, electrode and depends on the nature of the other electrode. Uh, for example, if you consider any one uh, reaction, net reversible reaction, if you look at that reaction, usually how the uh, electrode re uh, respond to the unknown solution, how the respond to the unknown solution. There is a mercury, mercury, mercury chloride uh, to gain the electrons in the electrochemical system to gain the electrons is converted to 2 mercury, mercury plus 2 Cl minus. So, that is the reason the electrode is depends on the, the concentration of KCl because uh, uh, main Cl chloride ions uh, to um, uh, deviate to the uh, changes to the potential of uh, reference electrode. 
uh, it is a sensitive to the electrochemical uh, of reference electrode. So, half of the mercury chloride, if we write the equation, same equation, if half of the uh, mercury chloride to gain the one electron, it is converted to mercury and Cl minus. So, then uh, from this equation, when we are applied to the next equation, so the electrode uh, cell potential, electrode potential E equal to uh, E naught minus uh, 2.303 RT by uh, NF log the concentration of product because uh, this is the solid value, solid, uh, a mercury chloride is a solid and this value also equal to 1. So that's why, so Cl minus, it uh, depends on the only and uh, Nance equation is only applicable to the concentration of Cl minus ions. Mm -hmm. Only ions only, uh, it will act to the uh, Nance equation. So, uh, E naught minus when substituted the R value and T value and Faraday value and the number of electrons involved in the reaction, there is a one electron, then the potential we are going to calculate using of this Nance equation. So, cell potential we are going to calculate. So, uh, that's why the calum electrode is reversible with respect to the chloride ion. Its electrode potential depends on the concentration of KCl solution. The electrode potential, it uh, depends on the concentration of KCl solution. Electrode potential is depends on the concentration of KCl solution. So, reference electrode in any electrochemical system, uh, they are using two electrodes. So, one of the electrode is a reference electrode. We are, you utilize the reference electrode, we are going to uh, calculate the other electrode potentials. So, normally reference electrodes are two types, the primary reference electrode and the secondary reference electrode. Primary reference electrode means that is a hydrogen electrode because hydrogen to give the, po the potential is 0 volts, the reaction potential is 0 volts. Uh, the directly when we are applying, when we utilize the hydrogen reference electrode, so we directly get the potential of other electrode. If a secondary electrode means so, the mercury mercury chloride potentials we are going to calculate using the hydrogen electrode. When we are utilize the hydrogen electrode uh, potential to calculate the electrode potential of other electrode, uh, that is secondary reference electrode. Secondary refer reference electrode, best example is calomel electrode. Calomel electrode cell representation is there is a KCl concentration of KCl solution and mercury mercury chloride and mercury platinum. This is the cell representation. I mean, uh, reference electrode, saturated caramel electrode. And what are the applications of electrochemistry? In the electrochemistry, there are a lot of applications is there. We know that the measurement of activity and activity coefficient. So, electrochemical series, uh, measurement of activity, activity coefficient. I mean, activity means concentration. In electrochemistry, we, we can say that uh, activity, activity coefficients, Electrochemical series, the order of reduction potential of the elements, uh, when we are going to arrange the electrochemical series potential arrangement, that is called as electrochemical series, there are a lot of applications there. And equilibrium constant, thermodynamic functions of cell reactions, uh, which is a non-spontaneous reaction, which is a spontaneous reaction, where the reduction takes, oxidation takes place, uh, what is the, um, what, what is the, uh, cell equilibrium we are going to calculate using this uh, um, potential, I mean uh, advantage of this application, one of the applications of electrochemistry. And a coating of object with metal, metal oxides through electro deposition. So, with the help of electrochemistry, we are going to uh, electroplating mechanism, electro deposition mechanism, uh, and deposition applications we are going to uh, working. So, that is another advantage in semiconductor material preparation or cell, I mean solar panel preparation like that. And the generation of chemical energy through polysynthesis, photosynthesis is inherently an electrochemical process. So, chemical energy, uh, chemical energy producing uh, generation of chemical through photosynthesis. So, that is also one of the electrochemical process that is, uh, is come from electrolytic cell. The production of metals like aluminum, titanium from ores. Uh, oxide from aluminum uh, that is also uh, electrolytic process. So, the extraction method, the extraction procedure also we are going to uh, develop using of the uh, electrochemistry and uh, diabetic, uh, I mean uh, transducer using of uh, some of the electrochemical transducer, we are going to measure the uh, blood sugar and uh, some of the 
biochemical uh, uh, sensing applications uh, that the sensing applications also uh, electrochemistry application uh, and electrochemistry is also a very important uh, uh, applica there are a lot of applications in uh, food industry uh, assessment of food and food package and analysis of milk composition and the characterization and determination of freezer freezing uh, end point of the ice cream mixtures like that uh, and the food industry uh, where a lot of applications is there and uh, uh, pharma pharma industry also electrochemistry nowadays uh, there are uh, uh, pharmacokinetic reactions we are developing we are going to uh, calculate the how many electrons involved in the reaction uh, uh, we are going to calculate uh, using of this electrochemistry so this is applications of electrochemistry uh, and thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates